while most viewers of this channel are used to us reviewing cars and trucks. On this video, we want to take a peek at the RV life. We headed to the Giant Center in Hershey, Pennsylvania, within sight of the exciting family fun of Hershey Park and their world-renowned roller coasters for America's largest RV show. It is here that more than 64,000 attendees gather each year for a weekend to look at and buy RVs that are on display. Parked on more than a million square feet of parking lot at the Giant Center, just imagine 33 football fields packed tightly with just about every manufactured camping option on wheels. When you think about going camping, there are a number of options. Packing up a tent in your backpack and taking off on a mountain trail or hitching up your RV when you think about go RVing. For the latter, this is where you go to check out the latest offerings and some special deals. We strolled up and down row after row of RVs, each one on display and each one for sale. While some of the RVs reminded me of the International Quidditch Match camp tents from the Harry Potter series. Small on the outside, but enormous on the inside. And here we are at home with Matthew and Nelson. Be it a pop-out or a pop-up, or maybe one of those cute little campers you tow with a car. Then there are campers that you slide into the back of a pickup truck. Or sometimes you want all the comforts of home for the family, and you go big with a trailer, or what is called a fifth wheel. Or maybe you want the fireplace, big screen TV, and a cook's kitchen. Then you might as well have a full bathroom and bedrooms with queen-size beds. Then it's one of the larger RVs, or maybe you want to be just like a little turtle and take your shell with you in a full-size van camper. This show has it all. What we think of as today's RVs gained popularity in 1910 as the call of the road was starting. Long before Route 66, Holiday Inns and roadside motels, and the Eisenhower Interstate System. If you were going to stay overnight, you had to bring your accommodations along with you. Just that the creature comforts have been made better today. While many chose to go the do-it-yourself route, popularized by men's magazine for the time, it was Californians that led the pack with production-built camping trailers made by Los Angeles Trailer Works and Autocam Trailers. That same year, on the East Coast, an early van camper from the Pierce Aero Company with an onboard bathroom debuted at New York City's Madison Square Garden. As the airplane age became all the rage, the iconic aluminum Airstream, a fuselage style travel trailer did too. And that brand is still very much in production today and is considered to be the epitome of high class RV travel with a price tag to match. You can find just about every configuration of RV from trailers that seem to be nothing more than for storage or hauling with a few simple amenities, perfect for those who rough it with dirt bikes or four by fours. Others that are designed for sleeping on the inside while you live and cook out in the open air, while others had party decks off the back. And some even offered separate garage spaces. Some units were not much different than stationary homes with a separate level for the bedroom area. Then there were those luxury cruisers with everything imaginable. Though we did not see the ultra luxed out cruisers that have a hot tub, a place underneath for a sports car or a helipad, or maybe we just didn't look hard enough. The difference in rigs, as they call them, are striking. While some reeked of the smell of chemicals and others looked as if the interiors had been decorated from the dollar store discount bin, though a majority of them were quite nice and even a few had very high-end materials and accoutrements. Personally, I was taken by the more stationary manufactured home options designed for permanent installation to be pulled onto a camping site in the mountains or by a lake. While not a quite a tiny home or a mobile home, this structure provides pretty much everything someone would need for a vacation home. On two levels, with a little space upstairs for the kids, HVAC, and uh, plenty of light and air. This is a perfect structure for someone who wants a vacation home 
with all the benefits and none of the hassles of a regular home. You've got a large kitchen, plenty of space in a family room with lots of light, a fireplace, and an opportunity to put in whatever electronics and things that you might want. These homes are just perfect for those that want to live the RV life. Though I have to say, I did want to hitch up to one of those cute little European trailers. There are units that are like buses, or almost semi-truck-esque. These RVs tend to be like rolling castles, some with expandable sides, while others were sleek, self-contained operation. Smaller, full-size van units that are perfect for traveling and comfort. That may be more of a rolling family room as opposed to an overnight accommodation. We have heard that these are used by retirees who travel to events or to visit family and want to bring their pets along. Then there are a few smaller mid-size or minivans that will take everything just on a smaller scale. The biggest thing I learned after attending America's largest RV show is that there is no one type of recreational vehicle. These units, or rigs as they are called, are as varied as the people who own them. If you want to experience the open road, as they say, go RVing. We are Queer for Cars. Please like and share this video and follow us on both our QueerForCars.com blog and our Queer for Cars YouTube channel. Until next time, when we take a look at yet another amazing automobile, truck, RV, or something else. Thanks for watching.